Hey, got a bunch of money. We should have so much money. That's insanity. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? Fuck just do? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby thought to have died in the fire has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Set is enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. Nothing was gonna happen there. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received <coughs> sacred power from the goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the holy tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the goddess. Divine revelation? Dude, I had the goddess inside my head for the whole time. I don't need no revelations. A revelation? The holy tomb is where the goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the holy tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the goddess, received mm. her revelation. Yeah, I guess you can do it in that uh, Black Eagle's route, when you're like, kind of, fuck it, I don't, don't care about all of this. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Thordlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. <laughs> there will be God a ceremony it. at the holy tomb. It is then that you will receive the goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. That just just Violet Bi doesn't really think you just do what you have to, kind of. It just it's just a killing machine. I think it's wise to bring the kids it here. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. Strange. The occasion is too significant to be missed. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Okay. No, oh, my life is just... is. It's Hilda's birthday? Cool. She's not from our house, obviously. Oh, She's gonna give her wow, flowers. Thanks. It's Hanuman's birthday? Dude, of course. Of course! Like a creator weapon, you could change it. That could be cool. Practice this to she's right. Oh. Street relaxing Zen is popular among many. He's gonna fucking love this one, right? My room works better for me, but I am willing to compromise for today. <sighs> <Thank you. laughs> 
there's very easy options with this one, and some that make no sense. Delightfully warming. <sighs> what? Mighty weapons, books of red recently, strange feats of the past. Gotta be books. Well then. Easy, easy. What? Word of advice, someone you look to, classes you may you might enjoy. Oh boy. That one's not it. <laughs> I don't think Fuck! It was the first one. It's not that one. I guess it's equipment? No, I can't be equipment. The opera? What the fuck? <laughs> equipment for Hanuman? Really? Okay, Hanuman. <laughs> Thank you for all what. They could have put at least one option about crests to make it like a normal conversation. Hey, enlightened ones! You see, now we have the perfect class. It's time to start anew. And this class is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Exploring tab. Can't hear Sith's voice no more. Yeah, bro, be like that. Now that I'm an enlightened one, I can start using magic too. Excuse me. You haven't a thing to worry about. You have been gifted the power of the goddess. Furthermore, you have overcome the death of your father, Geralt. And you have destroyed countless of our wicked foes. I am proud. So very proud of who you have become. <laughs> Once we finish the ritual at the Holy Mausoleum, all will be well. Yeah, yeah. Just teach me. Let's get a grade here. Alright. Almost did it. Uh, I guess we can do some supports, right? How many do we have? Ah, quite a bit. Jimmy Tree and Ash to get the B. Let's see. Your Highness, sorry, I mean Dimitri. Would you, um, do you want to train together today? <laughs> Ash, of course, I'm glad you asked. After classes conclude for the day, meet me at the training ground. I'll be waiting. And afterward, let's plan on dinner. We'll certainly have worked up an appetite. Oh, yes, I suppose, uh, I mean, sure, it'd be, that is, uh, it would be my pleasure to, uh, to dine with you. <laughs> I mean, I, I, uh, um... Ash. I'm sorry, your highness. I'm just no good at this. I'll do my best to improve. Are you still worrying over what I said to you before? I'm trying to do as you asked, but it's just completely against my nature. Trust me, I understand the urge to show respect where it is due. However, that is not the case here. Yes, I was brought up in a different family and raised in a different way, but otherwise, you and I are the same. That all makes sense, Your Highness. But I just can't bring myself to speak to you in such a casual way. Sure, when you get right down to it, royalty like you and common folk like me, we're all just people. But the common folk still rely on the nobility to keep the peace and to keep them safe. Mm. Commoners pay the price for that in taxes and respect. That's what Lenato says. I suppose I can understand that point of view. But the flaw in your logic is that I am not king just yet. But that's not all there is to it. Hmm? I also respect you as a person. You carry the weight of the whole kingdom on your shoulders. You're a faultless warrior, and you're always so kind to your allies. Even me. On all accounts, I can say the same of you. But you also have a strong heart. I can't say that about myself. No matter the circumstance, you are never drawn toward darkness. That mindset of yours has done me well on countless occasions. Well, I... I do my best. So I guess, mutual respect between us is what's really the most appropriate. Precisely. 
which means there's never any need to be nervous or uncomfortable around one another. It seems we may have circled back to where we started with this conversation, but let's at least agree that we both should learn to bend a bit. How's that sound? All right. Let's start from the beginning, then. Would you like to train with me today, Your Highness? Of course, Ash. Come at me with everything you've got. That was a nice one. No, they don't have a parrot ending, because that's the best they can have together, and it's B. Uh, let's see to do a Mercedes. Let's change it up. Ah, I think I get it. So the Sky God got into an argument with the Earth God, then Dusker was created? To oversimplify it somewhat, yes. <laughs> There's something so mysterious about it. There are only mountains separating us from Dusker, but it's like a completely different world. This has been so interesting. I've never learned so much about it before. There are not many left to pass on the legends of Dusker. Really? That's a shame. It's almost like when someone dies, or a family line ends. I think a place is only truly destroyed when there's no one left to remember it. You should tell more people about Dusker to keep it alive. That is a strange thing to say. Oh? Why do you think that? Dusker is forever the enemy of Fargus. No one cares about our culture or history. I'm different, though. I don't know anyone who was killed by the people of Dusker. I don't hold a grudge against you, and I never have. Um, to do? Is this recipe from Dusker? You don't care for it. No, no. I was actually surprised by how much I enjoyed it. Would you teach me how to make it soon? But it seems I am ever the teacher with you, and seldom the student. You're right. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, I have an idea. My mother taught me to bake the perfect sweets to go with tea. Would you like to learn how to bake? It's a secret Oops. Martreats family recipe that's been passed down for generations. House Martreats of the Empire? I thought they were no more. It's true. My father's family was wiped out in the Empire. I'm the last living descendant. Are you certain you wish to impart such precious memories to me? Of course. Now that my family's gone, I'm the only one who knows the secret. The sweets would vanish from Bodlin if something happened to me. I see your point. Yes, I would like to learn. <laughs> Indeed. Let's see what uh, the do and Nash have to say to each other. Not much, apparently. <laughs> you don't like to talk much, huh, to do? I am not skilled in conversation. Any particular reason? Reason? I am only here at the monastery because this is where His Highness wishes me to be. Many here are frightened of me, disgusted by me. I grow weary of it. That makes sense. A lot of people hate Dusker. They think all kinds of terrible things. Some of them even think you kidnap and eat people. <laughs> we sound like true monsters. Why are you smiling? Shouldn't it make you angry? I suppose. If those people would just talk to you, I'm sure they'd change their minds. I'll admit that when I first got here, I found you kind of intimidating. I didn't know if it was okay to talk to you. I hesitated. But like I said before, I just wanted to get to know you. And now that I have, I'm not scared at all. I am not very good at interesting conversation. We can work on that. Tell me about Dusker. What was your hometown like? Calm. More forested than Fargus. Each town had a specialty. Smithing. Fishing. You would be better off reading about it in a book. Okay, maybe you're right. But answer me one thing. Heretics! You're a great cook, and you learned at home. Why don't you make more Dusker-style food? As we have established, people hate Dusker. Food by itself may be harmless, but it is better not to sow seeds of discontent. Ah. 
but the cuisine of Dusker is delicious. I'd really like to try more of it. I am pleased to hear you say so. Right, cute little combo about racism. Who's in order of him? How about Sylvain and Bernadetta? Oh man, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. <sighs> so full. That fruit plate really hit the spot. Time to get nice and snug. Maybe do some sewing. Hey, you Bernadetta. You look pretty happy. Celebrating something? <laughs> what? N no, nothing at all. Hey, relax. It's okay if you'd rather not tell me. By the way, I believe you left something in the library. A half-written manuscript? Your own work, I presume? I was curious who it belonged to and gave it a read-through. You're a really talented writer. I'm sorry. I peeked at the first page, then the next, and I couldn't stop. <laughs> I think it's good enough to publish. It's the kind of adventure story that will make people laugh and cry. I love how you never know what mess the hero is going to get herself into next. I'm dying to read more. That's exactly your face. <laughs> uh, your mouth's hanging wide open. Bernadetta, are you okay? Sorry, um, was someone talking about a story? Yes, that would be me. I read your book. Y you read my book? Yeah, and I loved it. Ah! I'm so humiliated. Please forget everything you read. Humiliated? No, I think the word you're looking for is humbled. Because, and she's gone. <laughs> now, what do I do with this book? Oh, we actually read it. I regret everything. Oh, poor bit of that. Even if I burn the pages, I can't burn his memory. <laughs> Not unless I throw him in the fire, too. Oh, boy. No, that's awful. <laughs> Don't think things like that, Bernie. <laughs> Jesus. And Bernie has something else to say. Ah, oh, to Gaspar, yeah. I've read that one. And that one goes there. Perfect. That one's good. Oh, hey, Bernadetta. What's going on? Enemy! Enemy's here! We're under attack! Help! Someone! Anyone! Help! I'm the one who came here for help. I guess I'll just take care of it myself. I can't believe I got hurt trying to break up someone else's fight. It's ridiculous. All I do is step in to calm them down, and the next thing you know, they're both at my throat. Hey, you ever been in a fight? And Kaspar really doesn't give a fuck about what? anything. You're challenging me to a duel? No, 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 I can't! Uh, all right. That was easy enough. Not to be rude, but do you ever think that maybe your attitude makes you a little unapproachable? You should try stepping outside and socializing. I'm sure you'd make friends in no time if you didn't waste it all in here. Outside? In no time? Oh, sure, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> well, maybe it's just not as easy for me as it is for you. Did that ever cross your mind? Why wouldn't it be? Making friends is easy. This one time, I even made friends with someone I'd just been in a fight with. I think it was the gorgeous view that did it. <laughs> uh, we really shared a moment. Come on, let's go check it out. Uh, uh, hold on! What are you doing? Uh, please don't touch me! Ah, put me down! Put me down! Calm down. I'm just gonna carry you out of here. Easy does it. <laughs> and here we are. See? That wasn't so bad, now was it? And what about this view? Gorgeous, right? So this is what death is like. Didn't expect it to be so sudden. Come and claim me, sweet death. But first, let this evening sun wash clean my imperfect soul. Hey, now don't go dying on me, Bernadetta. It's just the sun. Huh? Wh what Where am I? Oh, it's pretty. Such a lovely view. Hell yeah. And then Ash and Annette go for the bee support. Okay, now that you know the technique, go ahead and solve this problem. Oh, it's nerd time. Uh, I've got it, finally. <laughs> 
see? Isn't it fun to learn? Absolutely. <laughs> You're great at this, you know. You really seem to have all the answers. They are such good people, though. I love them. Like, if anyone hurts them, I'll be, like, legitimately angry. I wish I could study and just soak up knowledge like you. How did you get so good at this? Well, studying was something of a necessity for me. What do you mean? My father was one of the king's knights. One day, he never returned home. He just left without ever saying a word to me or my mother. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry to hear that. Losing a father so suddenly? I completely understand. After he left, I thought a lot about where he might have gone. Worst feeling. Worst feeling. Poor Ash. <sighs> My father was a devout believer, so I was certain he must have come here, to Garig Mok. Here? Really? That's why I was determined to gain acceptance into the Academy. I needed to come here so I could search for my father. The problem was that I needed money to get in. Lots of it. And I didn't have any at all. So I entered the school of sorcery and Ferdy at first, hoping I could somehow find a path here. I studied tirelessly until I finally earned myself a recommendation. Oh, wow. So for you, studying has been like a way to meet your destiny. Destiny, huh? Well, yes, but... It's a bit embarrassing when you put it like that. Ooh. Now I have other reasons for wanting to keep trying hard. I want to protect all of my friends and allies here. I'm studying hard so I can be as useful as possible to everyone I hold dear. You've worked so hard. I really respect that. I'm going to follow your example. Well done, guys. I do like them together, to be honest. They're kind of cute. All right, support's done. And same goes for the day. Yeah, boy. God damn it! Just put, just put the group test. There you go. I think these guys are still are going for A, right? Yeah. God, they're going so slow. Done. <laughs> Wait, he does have enough, right? Well, he's I've about to reach C plus. I just want to grab it. This will be good job. So this is how good. You need to keep <laughs> to keep trading this until B plus. Wow. What? Mage Ignis, now that I didn't try. She's fine with lances, so she just needs the horse. Come on, Bernie. Do it. Do it. Ones, whatever. We could. Train you. I answered correct. No need for. I answered. I am. I appreciate. Do you guys hear about that they changed some of the dialogues in the game? About Bernadette, especially. Dude, the dude, the dude's a beast. What am I gonna train with these two points? Maybe you. I'm gonna get you closer to A. Yeah. Good job, good job.
I didn't know it was because of the uh, tr mistranslation. May I ask a question, Professor? So I guess they took the liberty to pretty much put some extra things. I'm sorry, but I'll probably just keep. You should probably just keep me. I don't have a question to ask. What do you even think? <laughs> you just did. Let's do this one. I guess I could do that. Oh, that was not perfect. Ah, well, B plus. Excellent. Professor. My father was renowned horsemanship in battle. Lance and riding skills? No, 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 no. Not yet, no, no, no. I know you don't need a horse. A was the best answer, so yeah. Let's give it our all. Oh, no. No, it is not. Look at this Pretty perfect. Good job if I... Fuck you. Get it. Taste it. Ooh. 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 So close, Manuela. Alright. Well, we'll do the exploration again. To keep the motivations up. 